The other three videos you've seen already sort of help walk you through the rendering process in a step-by-step -step fashion. They are not intended to be the full render from start to finish. Um, I would probably put most of you to sleep if you had to watch all of that. The total time I've spent so far on this is about two hours um, with what you see. There isn't uh, any finish to the legs yet. The legs are still um, completely uh, nuanced with different patches of value. As you can see down here, I'm starting to hatch in the surfaces, but I haven't really solidified anything down here yet. And of course, I haven't taken care of the feet at all. Those are just blocked in. Um, and then up in here, the shapes are blocked in, but I haven't clarified the edges yet. And of course, I haven't done anything with the head. Now, this information over here sits out here because I want to show you that um, when we look at the figure we're looking at it through a skeletal structure and we're looking at that first because that's what everything else sits upon and I'm just sort of like briefing you in just this area of the shoulder this is content that I've already covered in the other videos but uh, the skeleton is where everything begins and then you start stacking the information on top of that here are the deeper muscles of the shoulder and the um, intrinsic muscles of the scapula, which mean muscles sitting within the scapular space. Um, then we have the muscles that sit over the top of that. The latissimus sits over the top of all of that. It cradles the teres major over here in the shoulder. And then sitting on top of all of that, we have the deltoid and the trapezius muscle. And all of those together stack together to create the volumes you see here. And all of these little hatch lines I've created along this edge indicate where those surfaces change radically in the skin area. So you can kind of see what influences what you see on the surface using all of these layers as a transparency to kind of get you through the layers of skin. But again, remember in the first video I pointed out what each of these layers are individually. Um, this is just a, a little bit more up close with one particular area because this was the area that I was focusing on as far as rendering is concerned. But you can see that every layer has been thought through. And in fact, every layer has good informed information about it. Of course, this has to do with the fact that I teach this subject. But at the same time, when I'm drawing or painting my own illustrations, this information is what sits in my head at this, as I'm making them. This information is what helps inform me to make better decisions as I'm building my pictures. So it's not stuff that is uh, just kind of like I'm not guessing. Although there's a few shapes in this picture right now that I look at that I go, yeah, that looks like I was guessing and I need to fix that shape. But that's just me being critical about the render not being finished. Only two hours in, I could spend easily another two to four hours on this to clean things up. And I would expect that that's what all of you would do as well. Spend time building rendered pictures as you're learning how to make things. Spend time breaking pictures down into all these subsequent layers and learn what each layer stands for and how to get there practically so that you can dis dissect it well enough to make it better in your picture, whatever that picture might be. Now, some of the things that I did not get involved with here, I did not talk about core shadows or I did not get too caught up in explaining the nuances in the shadow patterns other than I'll say this, everything again is triangulated. Oh, triangulation my bad I need to go back and, and explain that really quickly all shadow patterns on the figure when you get to this point of a higher level of render um, are not parallel to edges and they are not um, mirroring any other edge anywhere in the body every point of the body is a new tension point where a muscle begins in some way shape or form an origin point and or it is also a place for insertion where the muscle finishes and these muscles start off narrow get wider and then end up narrow again uh, it's kind of the way all the muscles work on the body and because of that the tension points of 
the muscles are much narrower or smaller than the flank of the muscle, which is the bigger portion, the, the bigger meatier portion of the muscle. And that means everything goes from smaller to bigger in some way in a triangular fashion. And it's not that every one of these triangles are like right angle triangles or equidistant triangles or anything like that. They are just triangular in general. That's sort of how everything works on the body. It gets starts narrow and it works its way into a wider space. So when you're blocking in all of your shadow patterns, look for the tension points, which are the smallest spots, and then look at with a kind of an open eye the rest of what's happening beyond that tension point to see how those muscles expand and how they influence the skin to be more triangular in its patterning. And I don't mean when you squint down, you're going to be able to see this references like some kind of diamond where all the facets are perfectly triangulated. It's more about knowing that there's bigger volumes underneath that you have already solved. And now that you're putting the flesh over the top of that, the skin softens those edges between those shapes. And you have to find the, the correctness of their coming together through the skin, if you will. And that's looking at all of the subtleties now of the half tones, the light tones, the medium tones, the shadow patterns, the terminator, the coarse shadow, the reflected light, the um, um, uh, the occlusions, and any other little nuance that's in the figure that makes the figure feel like it does. That's all on you now for the render. And just remember, though, that the figure is no longer the cylinder forms and the block forms that you started with. We're now starting to sand off some of those corners and we're inflating them in other places. Muscles have their own distinct shapes and you have to learn what those are. Now, if you take one of my classes, you learn those through their shape designs because the shape designs um, help you get closer to what is more realistic to their natural feeling. Nothing is spherical, nothing is cylindrical, nothing is block-like on the figure. Everything is more complex than that. And that's what we're looking for now, the facets of complexity. And they all have a triangulation to them. So when you're shading, and you're shading all of this information together, you're looking at this stuff right here, it's all the overlapping surfaces and how they react to each other. Notice how every muscle gets narrower. All these muscles are triangles. Aha! Clue! Clue for the rendering, right? And that's what you have to think about. Alright, so go ahead, watch all the videos. Don't speed through them. Everything has dialogue to it. There are words you might want to pause every now and again to read all the words just to double check the information. Some of the information I don't go over completely. I just kind of briefly glance over it, but the written information is there. So again, use your pause and pause to read when you need to. But otherwise, watch all four videos because all four videos are compounded information that help you understand a little bit more about how rendering works. And this is just the figure. We'll get into this with other things as well, all the way up to illustrations. So just keep an eye out for the videos. They will keep coming through. Eventually, they will all be directed over to our website, revartacademy.com. The meantime, though, if you're looking for some online education, I teach over at Noman. I teach at CGMA LAFA, our school, Rev Art Academy, down here in San Diego. And uh, those all have online classes available. Um, our website will be updated soon to let you know what we have pretty soon. In the meantime, watch for the videos. Keep studying, enjoy your art, don't get frustrated, this stuff takes time, but remember to do it and do it a lot because art is something that is repetition based. It is not just something that you can read about and you know exactly what you're doing. Take care everybody, see you soon. I've seen the